Hello, this is Cedric Tai. I am one third of Canela Art Gallery, and hopefully in two minutes I'll be able to cover all of this stuff. But what we're looking at, um, Discord, a chat platform that a lot of gamers use to talk with their community. And actually, different people can post and share with each other, and that's maybe what's most important, is that um, we haven't seen any galleries that work in this way, but the idea is maybe we can create the community we want to see in the art world, right? We want to offer resources to artists, uh, queer, trans, black, indigenous, people of color, who normally wouldn't be given all of these different ways that other people are shown how to navigate these different platforms. First things first, this is only equally as safe as, say, Instagram or Facebook. If you're using Discord, you actually don't have to share your personal information. We do want to get to know people in a more intimate way, but we ask that everyone use their own discretion. But with that said, we do think that it's possible to share plenty of information that will be useful for lots of people from um, calls for art, monthly crits, sharing our own personal artwork. And we also want to plan monthly check-ins as professional artists where we can be accountable, but it is a place that people will be able to familiarize themselves with. We, uh, the co-directors of Canela Art Gallery, will be monitoring and inviting people or removing people as necessary. Um, so we're kind of the only uh, accountability that's going to be within our small ecosystem that we'll create. We're going to start assuming that you don't have an account, and we'll register. I'll actually register this for one of our other co-art directors, um, Lestavag. Copy a password I've got and use it. Discord's a little strange. They often have little updates that happen. You don't have to read all of this stuff. What I want to point you to is that you will be looking this email for an invite. You also will need to verify an email, I guess. Sure, I am who I say I am. So their invites are kind of strange because they only last a week. So I'm just gonna copy that link, drop it in here. This one might even be expired by the time that you're watching this video, so don't use that password. When you first come on, I was hoping that uh, you'd get like an intro message. It says hello from me to you, explain that this is an experiment. Some places are private. So let me just cover that really quick. Um, there's different areas where, you know, if that's the area where you say hello to people, where everyone could see it, uh, if you have your own art show, feel free to throw it down in an events. But there's things that I want just to go to artists that are um, contributing to uh, Canela Art Gallery. And so what that means is that there's these private spaces where it'll show up. Besides kind of introducing yourself, one of the things I know is very straightforward, like identifying what kind of help do you need? What do you want? But also, what can you give? Um, this is based a little bit on a workshop I was in put on by Creative Capital and led by Sharon Loudon. And so I put in my own just to give an example of the kind of stuff that I can do. I'm not a super techie person, but I do like thinking about what's something that just works and when used in an interesting way can maybe have like a big impact. So Discord's one of these things that I'd like to introduce to everyone. But I also put in here a lot of special resources um, based on, that can only be based on what people need. So I'll load stuff once I know what kind of interests people have. And we do have some things where we asked people in our call for art, um, what do you need? And a lot of people were saying different things and I can post those. But to get started, I thought it'd be great to include what brand new things people are doing in the, on the US side that could definitely um, be translated and function in Mexico. But it's about like artist contracts between artists and people who buy their work. Um, so I put that up. Um, I sometimes co-facilitate an anti-racist group that meets on the first and third Saturdays of every month. So I put in uh, the link for how to join that group. Um, I also wanted to put in something where someone was asking like, oh, what do you think of this 
artist statement. And like one thing you could do is put the artist statement over in this side where you're saying, oh, I need help with my artist statement. And it wouldn't just be us that could support it, but it's kind of more interesting when you can get more eyes on anything. Um, but back to this, uh, I believe there's some links in here for what makes a good artist statement, where to start. And I think the last thing I put in was actually, uh, so I've got a call for artists that will be due end of May, um, where 40 artists have the chance of winning $1,000 and 10 people $2,000 US dollars, where 50 artists will be included in this virtual exhibition. But I think this is only for US artists because they're asking um, from the point of view of a US artist living and working in the US, what does democracy mean to you, blah, blah, blah. There's got to be a place that also posts opportunities for people in Mexico City. This would be great if people could share theirs. I tend to be on some lists that I pay for that only have, that only apply to people in the US. But uh, even if there's one person, I think that'll be helpful. This one's a bit more for Gabby. I actually took the workshop that I was in and so not to overwhelm everyone, it was four weeks long and each one was about an hour and a half long, including a Q&A session. So I put the video um, where you can click it and uh, learn what I learned, which was super fascinating, um, ranging from like, do you need an MFA to be an artist uh, to just different opinions on what kind of art world do you want to be in and how to sustain your artist practice? So Sharon Loudon is a, an artist who I believe is a director of an artist in residency, but also went and interviewed a ton of artists all over, at least the U.S., to ask them, how do you make it work? Um, and I thought it was interesting because this particular one was about building community and how that supports artists' practices. So I shared that specifically for Gabby. So the last thing I wanted to show was how to join um, what they call a voice channel, but they're also video channels, which is where you will be able to uh, join us. So you have to click allow. And there is a chance that lots of things will go very slow. This is like the reality of um, computer stuff. Let's see if at least my video works on this end. Well, at least this works. So thanks for watching my possibly poorly edited um, how-to video. And hopefully we'll see you on this platform. If it gets too clunky and tricky, we may try a different one. But for the time being, this seems like it's got all the bells and whistles we need. It might be more complicated than we might need in certain instances. So we just won't use all that stuff. Um, but other than that, uh, I hope this gives you a little security trying to feel out like what is this thing it's not going to put any uh, crappy uh, other extra software on your computer if you don't want it to it's safe in the sense that we're expecting you not to put any sensitive information on it and this is a way to get information to lots of different people who want to help the mission help ourselves connect with each other and I think it's going to be really exciting to see what we can do, especially when it comes to finding out what other artists do and seeing what skills that we can share. And, you know, I don't think the whole art making process is supposed to be that solitary anyways, because that tends to be like a kind of individualistic exceptionalism trap. And I think that things are actually meant to be a lot more communal in order for things to be sustainable and to make sense. So we don't want you to be alone in the endeavors of what you try to do. We think this might be a really interesting experiment to see what we can figure out together. But thanks for joining us.